Quentin Tarantino, this is for you. Focus? Does it work? Am I in focus? Yes. Okay, hey guys, how's it going? I'm Michael, I'm from Bavaria, Germany, and this is a very spontaneous After Effects tutorial. It's an After Effects tutorial for beginners. May I introduce to you Doris? She's my girlfriend. She eagerly wants to learn After Effects. Is it true? Yes. I guess it'll prove if I'm gonna be a good teacher or not. Do you have any previous knowledge in After Effects? Just a tiny bit. Nice. So, now let's start finally. No, just wait a moment. I'm cold. I have to change my trousers. This is crazy. Okay, Doris, what's our goal for today? So my goal is I would like to do a flat illustration out of this frame, putting in a daisy which rotates. That's a nice idea. And I guess this is uh, your feet. Am yes. I right? Let's do it like Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Oh my god, we have some daisies here. Probably. Now we have a very good reference. Yeah, let's do it like this. Can yeah. you simulate the rotation? Something like this. Okay, um, so let's start. Okay, Doris, uh, we have to create a composition. Just grab the file, drag it onto the new composition symbol. Mm -hmm. Okay, Doris, you need to grab the pen tool. It's mm -hmm. here. And what is very important is that you deselect the layer. Just click on the gray okay. layer. And uh, what's quite useful for our purpose is that the Roto Bezier is checked. Could you please check it? Then you have to rotoscope your feet, draw inside the composition window. Do I have to be precise? It's not necessary. We can change it afterwards. The line is very thick, so you can now decrease the thickness. So I'll put it to one. We can get rid of the fill. Just go into the shape layer, right? Uh, could you delete the fill, please? Just delete it. Is it a problem that it's uh, kind of edgy here? We can change it afterwards. Please keep rotoscoping. And now? So now you can close the path by clicking on the first vertex. Like that? Yes. Okay. We can add the fill again. Okay, here? Here, right. Okay. And fill. Yeah. And now, if you want, you can change the color. Roto Bezier. So what is Roto Bezier? The good thing about a Roto Bezier is um, you don't have to bother with handles. Okay, I will show you. This is how vector paths usually work. You can control the curvature via handles. And this is a bit more complicated. So in Roto Bezier, the curvature is created automatically. So Roto Bezier is a good choice. Okay, what do we need now? Uh, we still need the nails. We need to fix the lines a bit. And I'm getting tired meanwhile. And I'm getting hungry. We need to build the bed sheet. Just one simple solid. Nice feet, by the way. Yeah, that's true. And now you can go to layer. Yeah. Yes, okay. new and solid. Yes, right. Choose another color. Okay. Okay. Just place it below the other shape layers. Okay, so let's do it like this. You are the creative director. <laughs> I'm just the instructor. Now let's fix the outlines. Toggle off the uh, background, right? I would uh, decrease the transparency of both feet. Okay. Select both shape layers. Like that? Yes. Okay. Press T for transparency. You know that. Yeah, this German. I'm sorry, ah! guys. With the feet transparent, you can judge the lines uh, much better. You can also add more vertices to have more details, right? Mm. Now we need a little hole here. You can add a path here to create a hole. Okay, like that? Yes. Now you can see that I have to repolish my neck. <laughs> now let's look at the result. You can uh, toggle on the background again. Okay, what do you think? It's quite okay. Okay, what's still missing? is the hole here. Open the shape layer and add merge please. Now we have to switch the layers orders. Form 1 above form 2. Open merge please 
and method to subtract. Ah, cool. Okay, the most important thing now. To rebuild my not perfect polished red nails. Quentin Tarantino, this is for you. Still not perfect. There is one thing to note regarding Rotobizier. The closer the vertices get, the less round the path becomes. Maybe I'm really happy because that was the essential tip uh, to fix my nails uh, to wonderful beauty. Let me show how you fixed it. As you can see here, I put the vertices more to this edge and so it's quite nice like that. It's not that round and I, I'll try it the same for this nail. In that way, I could all the rounds here and I had here and here and I like it more like that. Are you happy with the results so far? Yes, of course. So uh, do you think I'm a good instructor so far? I had no doubts. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, we can create a new composition. Please click on the new composition symbol. I would suggest that we have square format, so please change width to 1080 pixels. Now uh, create a new shape layer, please. Add ellipse. Okay, I would um, increase the size. You can go to something like this, okay? You can now right click on the ellipse path. Transform it to paths. Right. Why did we do that? Because we have to change the shape manually. Grab this tool, this right? One. You can now click on the bottom vertex. Yeah. Now click on the top vertex. And then please add a group. Put the path inside the group. Open it, please. Open the transform parameters. Change the scale, the X scale. Now you have to click on this chain symbol. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, it looks good. Yeah. Change the shape of the leaf by clicking on the top vertex. And now drag to the right. We have to add a fill. Here. Here, yes, right. And change the color. Looks good so far. Then we can change now the Y position of the anchor point. Mm -hmm. Increase it, please. Right? Until the bottom vertex touches the center. Something like that. Now we have the leaf and we can close the group. Mm -hmm. Now comes a very good trick. You don't have to create every single leaf. That would be very time consuming. We can add a repeater. Please add a repeater. <laughs> Repeater. In German, it's ah, called Verstärker. This is not what we want. Okay, please open Repeater. Okay. Open the transform parameters of the Repeater. Change position to zero. I guess we need, uh, let's say, 17 copies. I think it's uh, less than 17. Let's say 15. Here? Yeah. There is uh, one thing I have to note. The uh, Repeater must be outside the group. So. We can close the um, repeater and okay. just put the repeater below the group. Okay. okay, now change the rotation of the repeater. Right. Oh, ah. it works somehow. 24 degrees. Yeah, it's the rotation of each leaf. So, do you want an outline for each leaf? Yeah. We have to go into the group again and we can add, add an outline. Change the color. Okay, the thing is you have to put the stroke layer inside the group. Close it first, close the repeater and ah, you can okay. now grab the stroke into the group. Looks nice so far. But something is missing, the thing in the center, the yellow thing, you know, I don't know what it's called in English. The dot. The dot. <laughs> Let's create a new group. Then add the circle. Then add a fill. It must be inside the group again, like this. Okay, and now you can change the color. Put group two above, above group one. Okay. 
Okay. I think the uh, the dot is too small. Yeah. Okay. Uh, please. Leave. So what do you think? I think it should be fine. Yes, I keep it like that. You're not happy with the shape? Yeah. You can go back to group two. No, one. Sorry, one. You can go to transform, change the X scale. The X scale? This one? Does it look better? Much better. Okay, now let's start with the animation. We go to the repeater, we go into the repeater, open the... We can now add a keyframe to scale, so please click on mm -hmm. the stopwatch. We go to second two. Ah, okay. Add another keyframe by clicking here. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Okay, let's go back to frame zero and change scale to zero. Okay, now hit play. Starts to grow. And now we can see that the animation of each petal is delayed. That's a cool trick with the repeater. So let's make the animation a bit smoother. We can now select the last frame, this one. Yes, right click on the frame and go to keyframe assistant, select easy ease. Now hit play. Oh, oh this is cool. It's smoother. Yeah. Looks better. Much better. Okay. Let's hit S for scale, please. We go to second two, create a keyframe, right. Then we go back to frame zero, change scale value to zero. Let's select the last keyframe, right click, and select easy ease. Easy. Now hit play. Mm. Okay. We can now go to our main composition. It's here. Now put the daisy composition into the main composition. Yeah. Just hit play, please. What happens? Ah, oh god. It's, oh, it's, it's really it's that big. big. We can now scale it down. Yeah. And reposition it to your desired position. Yes. Oh, this looks very nice. Can we go back to frame zero? Please create a rotation keyframe. Yeah. And now move the play hat to the last frame. Change rotation to 360. Now I'm very curious. Hit play, please. It's not bad. I, I like it. In my opinion, the daisy should it should be a bit bigger. Yes, a bit slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Yes, okay, I'll change it. But I like it because it looks very natural. Or what do you think? I second that. Okay. Yeah, that's big enough. Let's bloom it. I love it. Hmm. Let's do the last step. Let's render it. Okay, now let's go to composition. Composition. Add to Adobe Media Encoder, right? Okay, now this okay. is the project. H.264 is okay. Change the preset to adaptive high bitrate. Choose an output path. There, there is a location. Okay, we can finally hit render. This one? Yes. Rendering, rendering, rendering. So excited. And 100%. Yay. Woo. Yeah. We made it. Now go to output path. Click on the video file. And now hit play. Okay. Am I a good I instructor? Like yes, you are, of course. I'm not quite sure whether I shall keep the colors. Ah, you should keep it. We are done. Okay guys, that's it for today. You learned something about uh, how to illustrate something inside After Effects and uh, you learned something about the repeater which is very powerful to make complex animations. Hey, I'm Michael. I'm from Bavaria, Germany. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like the video, subscribe my channel and see you next time.